Welcome to another CTV Sports presentation. CTV Sports is brought to you by St. Clair Chevy, Buick, GMC, We Care. By Murphy Inn, Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By Ackett Soups in Adair and Marine City. By North Star Bank, North Star Guiding the Way. By St. Clair Chrysler Jeep Dodge, We Care. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair's Ace Hardware and by CTV, Community TV, in Marine City and St. Clair. Good day, Mariner fans. Craig Zimmerman along with Jerry Schneider. Greg Govier on camera from a Wednesday night edition for the Titans of Warren Woods Tower. For Warren Woods, junior number 11, Brianna Randolph. Junior, Samantha Blaylock. Playing center, number 22, a five foot eight junior, Samantha Blaylock. Michelle Westrick. Five foot seven guard, number 23, Michelle Westrick. Guard, number 32, Junior. A Westrick from Warren? Yeah. Uh, another guard, five foot five, number Junior, number 32, Senior Jenna Watson. And rounding out the starting lineup, Warren Woods Tower, five foot five guard, number 42, Ashley Wilson. And now for the Marine City Mayors. The sophomore guard, number one, Antonio Hopkins. Starting it out for the Mariners, number one, Antonio Hop Potvin. Next up will be the sophomore, number 14, Carissa Austin. Kirsten Austin, number 20, a senior. Paige Tranquita, number 30. And rounding it out for the Mariners, freshman number 21, Stephanie Abraham. Supporting cast for the Mariners, Kylie Selecki, Alexis Pastoria, Desiree Snyder, Madison McConnell, Natalie Tipton, and Erica Kellyu. Coached by Jeff Austin, assisted by Don Warzini and Gal Warwick, and JBE head coach Bill Westerhoff, along with his assistant Bob Westerhoff. So what's the consensus tonight, Jerry? The well, Titans in from Warren. Titans come in at uh, two and seven overall, one and two in the Mac Gold. Uh, they're scoring 40 points a game, and unfortunately they're giving up close to 50. So hopefully that plays into Marine City's hands tonight. Marine City comes in eight and one overall, two and one in the Mac Gold. They're only lost to Marine City, or excuse me, Marysville. And as we talked about that game, I think based upon what I've seen the last two, three games, I think that Marysville is probably going to be the class of the league. I would agree. They're the team to beat. Jump ball will pit Tranquita against number 22. Blaylock goes Mariner way. First turnover of the night in a hurry, huh? The first foul of the night. That'll be on Potvin. Obviously, her first team first. Shooting two will be, is that 22 or 32? Uh, 32. Jenna Watson. Jenna's a 5'5 junior. And it's too quiet in here. <laughs> Short on the first. It's almost like the gym's empty. And it's not. Opening 10 seconds of the game here. Woods Tower no good on two. Mariners come up with a rebound. This time it'll be Kirsten Austin. Far side. Austin going to drive. Kicks it in. Ooh. Second turnover. Second run down the court for the Mariners. Long one, wow. three, she drains it. That It is Ashley Wilson. She's got first three of the night. Early on, looks like Woods Tower wants to push the action. Marine City ball out of bounds. Still the opening minute. Woods Tower and a man to man. We haven't seen that much this year. Most teams are playing. There we go. Abraham, nice feed. Stephanie Abraham on the board for two. 3-2, three, two, Warren Woods on top, opening minute. 
Point guard for Tower is Ashley Wilson. Driving? Nope. And that'll be number 11, Brianna Randolph. She gets two. Looking to make it a three-point play. Early on, looks like Marine City needs to do a much better job blocking out, grabbing those loose balls. Nope. 0 for 3 so far tonight. Three point shot, Abraham. Looked pretty good shot from here. She had all kinds of time. It's a good shot. Yep. Contested. Inbound from the north side, Potvin. Bounce pass goes into Kellyu. Three point shot from the corner, Potvin. No, long. Rebound Mariners. This time Kirsten Austin comes up with it. And they throw it away. Third turnover of the night. 5 2 Warren Woods Tower. A three point shot. Air. Get it back. You can tell 11's a ball player. She is, no doubt. Right now, Woods Tower just looks quicker all the way around. Quicker. They look a little defense. lethargic. Yes, they do. Randolph shooting two. Checking in for the Mariners. Paige Tranquita comes in. Potvin comes off. I think she's got two fouls already. Makes splits a pair. She's got three. 6 2 Tower. Six and eight left first quarter. Mm, another turnover. No conversion on that. Abraham comes up with a rebound. Oh my goodness. Just being haphazard with the ball. Lucky they're not making many of their shots. Yeah, well, Woods Tower is a quick team. You, you got to anticipate that. You know, the receiver needs to come get the ball from the person passing to him, and you got to make a more crisp pass. Abraham leads it up court. Far side. Rebound tower. Randolph comes up with it. Eight footer in. Samantha Baylock. Eight two. That's that one where you make a mistake and then you hack them afterwards. <laughs> you don't need that. Randolph to inbound right in front of us here. 5.05 left, first quarter. 8 2, Titans on top. Jump shot, no good. Rebound, Mariners. Reminds me of the game we did last night. You know, Quentindale first pass, the shot was going up for the boys, and Woods Tower's doing the same thing. Nice. nice. Nice feed. That's a Got feed. it. Kirsten Austin on the board for two. 8-4. So tell me where Warren Woods Tower High School is. Warren. You don't know? Come on. I've been there, but I can't remember exactly. Uh, it's been a few years since I've been there. Turnover, first one of the night for the Titans. I think it's Martin Road, which is 11 and a half mile just west of Grosbeck. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> now, a nice, bright, white and blue gym, I remember that. Yep, it's on the corner of Bunnert and Martin. I forever have always asked Jerry Bissett when we do games, where is that high school? And I have to do my homework now. 
He tends to get all the Warren ones confused and the St. Clair Shores ones as well. <laughs> Mirrors pick up the rebound. Looking inside. Tranquita got it. We're bigger than them down there. Let's keep doing that. Yep. Two point ball game, eight to six. The school always had trouble getting through this mop for some reason. Can't let her go in like that. Four or five mirrors right in a row. There was no Titans. Down low, down low. Driving. Got to use the backboard. Ashley Wilson gives it up to Harger. Harger, top of the key, pulls it. Yes. She's got her first two of the night, makes it 10 6. Tranquita backing her up, going to go to line for two. That's a nice play they should go to all night long. It's there every time down. Paige Tranquita at the line. Shooting two. 309 left in the first. Split a pair. Page has three points. Cuts the lead to three. 10 7. Titans. Lady Mariners have not played a very good first quarter. They're no, and they should be down three. Right. You're doing a good job on the defensive boards. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Seventh turnover in the early in the first quarter. Nice call. She shuffled him. Checking in for the Mariners, Kirsten Austin. She will join her sister, Carissa. Natalie Tipton is out there as well. Tranquita. And Abraham. Long one. Oh, it looked pretty good from here. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you know, like, they waited until she got about three steps to call that one. It's like a little hot potato. Who wants it? Who wants it? Mirrors inbounding from the west side. Kirsten Austin like gets it into Carissa Austin. I'd like to see Stephanie Abram get involved here on the offensive end. Boy, that's a nice, nice, nice play. All night long, Tranquita's got five. Cuts the lead to a point, 10-9. Two minutes left, first quarter. Driving. Nice take there by Brianna Randolph. Quick, quick first step. She's got six. Turnover Marine City, number eight. Twelve nine. Far corner, long two. Nope. Rebound, Mariners. This time, Tipton comes up with a rebound. Natalie's a senior. Strong defense being played that right there by Wisniewski. On the line, turnover. In for the Titans, number 24, Aqua Young. Harger leads it up. Far side. 
Randolph launches, no, rebound. Power. Got part of the body, number 24, Aqua Young will go to the line shooting two. You're almost guaranteed a foul when yeah. you block from the back. It's let you have 99% of the time they're gonna blow the whistle. Nice looking shot. Aqua's on the board with one. Erica Kelly checks in for the Mariners. I wonder what it'd be like with Cal U and Tranquita in at the same time. Pretty tough to defend on yeah. most teams. Good free throw shooter. 14-9, final minute, first quarter. Tipton, top of the key. That'll be a number 42, Ashley Wilson. Inbound goes to Austin. Back to Tipton out top. 30 seconds in the first quarter left. Mariner ball from the east side. Ooh. <laughs> Got lucky on that one. There we go, wide open. There you go. There we go. Stephanie Abraham, she's got four. Cuts the lead to 14 11, 11 seconds remaining. Gotta let her do that. That's what she wants to do. Yeah. I think you gotta give her that step and take your chances with her shooting out by the three point line. Yep. At six, leads all. Four point lead. Five point lead. Plenty of time to get a good shot. 16 11. Yeah, Through the foul, going to get two shots with a second and a half left. Marissa Austin at the line, shooting two. A nice looking shot. Starting off better with our free throws tonight than the boys did last night. Yeah. Got a pair. 16-13, the end of one quarter. Titans on top, 16-13. We'll be right back. Don't touch the dial. CTV, Marine City, St. Clair. Ackett's Soups from Scratch has a new location on King Road in Marine City. Ackett's Soup from Scratch features all their famous soups, but now they have a complete lineup of lunch and dinner items for eat in or take out, and even frozen items for heat and eat. You know Ackett's Soups are made from scratch. Fresh vegetables, herbs, and hand-rolled noodles. Stock simmered for long hours to bring out aroma and flavor of real homemade soups. Ackett's Soups from Scratch in Adair, and now also in Marine City on King Road. Neiman's Family Markets, from produce, deli, bakery, meats, or even bagels. Neiman's Family Markets, they have it all on Kearney Drive in St. Clair. Neiman's Family Markets. Second quarter underway. Considering nine turnovers, Jerry. I think the Mariners are lucky to be down three. Absolutely. And if they put together 
a solid two good quarters. Double they, dribble. They should be able to beat them fairly handedly if they do. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, Coach Austin was not happy, hit the quarter break, and the girls heard about it. So we'll, we'll see what happens here in the second quarter. It's got to be stronger with that ball. More crisp passes. Pull it, yeah, yeah. Take it. Rebound Mariners, tipped and gets it. Get in. Biggest thing that I was impressed with last night with the boys game was the fact of quick two there by number 22, Samantha Baylock, she's got four, was, was Clintondale's ability to just pull the trigger, boom. Oh, man. Literally, no thinking. one pass, and it, it, if no one was in your face, you were they were shooting it. Yeah. It was, it was Randolph's got nine. Seven point lead at 2013. Good looking shot. City's got to do a better job getting back on defense too. One girl's getting back. Driving. Nice. Got it. Popping for two. Five point ball game, 2015, just under six minutes left in the second quarter. And they let her just walk right around her. Going to go to line for two. Brianna Randolph looks exhausted right now. Carissa Austin, the fresh or the sophomore at the line, shooting a pair. I think that I would say early on, I'd say Randolph's their best player offensively. You go after her on defense, yep. try to get her in some foul trouble. Carissa has two points from the free throw stripe. Checking in for tower number 30, Alexis Jackson. She looks taller than 5'6". Yeah, she sure does. Rebound. rebound Mariners. Get in there. No. Rebound 34 with Newski. Travel. Nice. Turnover number five for the Titans. City needs to go on a little run here. Five minute mark, second quarter. No, oh, nice yeah. block. Little body there. I think that's on 32, Jenna Watson. Four forty six left, twenty fifteen, Titans on top. Led at the end of a quarter, sixteen thirteen. Oh. That's been the biggest problem is just the errant pass. Forty two. Wilson goes very strong to the hole. Puts two in. Is that twelve turnovers already? Yes, sir. Wow. Nice. Kristen Austin. She's got five. Oh, 
Four point ball game. Air ball. Couple substitutions on the Titans side. Number 44, Sydney Cruz. And number 14, Ashley Harder back in the game. Top of the key, thought about it. <laughs> Should have shot it. Oh, they caught a foul. That'll be in 44, Sydney Cruz. Checking in, 22, Samantha Blaylock. Tipped in to Tranquita in the paint. Jump ball, turnover. Three and 33 left in the half. Leading all scores, nine for Brianna Randolph. On the mirror side, five for Tranquita. Long one, no, rebound, Tipton. I see you feed it to Tranquita down low. Checking in for the Mariners, Carissa Austin. Brandon Randolph, number 11, back in for Woods Tower. Looking inside, nice job that time. Getting in the middle of it, Tranquita gets it, forces a turnover. Three point attempt, short. Rebound this time, Harger. Tranquita comes up with it. That was, a, that was a stupid foul. <laughs> put the Mariners on the line. We saw one of those the other night. 75 feet from the bucket. Which makes no sense. You almost have zero chance of stealing it there. 237 left in the half. Craig Zimmerman, Jerry Schneider, Greg Govey are on camera. Wednesday night from the gym. We'll put Tranquita at the line one and one. She's got five points. Six. She's two of three from the line. And I know we said this early on, but when you look at the score, I, I, the way the Lady Mariners have played, I, I really think the score, the score would be different, but um, they're hanging in there somehow. Nice, nice rebound. rebound. Strong one. Erica Kellyu gets a strong two, and it's a one-point ball game, 22-21. Good stop right here. Looking to feed inside to Randolph. Lost the handle. Turnover number seven for the Titans. Whoever's guarding her tonight for the Mariners are going to have their hands full. Two and 14 left in the half. Mariners cut it down. There. Oh, Cal, you clean it up. But when they run their set offense, they're getting an open good yep. every time. Yeah, I could call you with two points. First appearance at the charity stripe and getting you, two. You got your wish. Both the bigs in at yeah. the same time. Got it. She's got three. They're all tied up. Just like that. Lean violation. <laughs> Saw that last week, didn't we? <laughs> Tied up at 22 apiece with two minutes left in the half. I think we saw that last night, too, in the boys game. Yep. Give her a step. Yeah. 
15 footer, short, Good rebound, Kalyu. He got that shot up, but that was very nice defense by Kalyu. I got a push there by Kalyu. Moving screen. Checking in for the Mariners, Kylie Selecki, number three. She's a senior. To the corner for three. <laughs> That's the second one of the night, so it's, she's got eight. They lead by three, 25-22. Big turnaround, six points. We had the three down here, because yep. first had made that three. Yeah. There we go. First and off, she's got seven. One point ball game, 25-24, under a minute to play in the half. Mares trailed 16-13 at the end of one quarter. I doubt they're gonna run it out. Got to get in front of her. That was a nice job not blowing the whistle because there was no foul there. Nice job not following. Too many chances. Yeah. Ashley Wilson, senior at the line. Her first appearance, she's got eight points. Two shots. Tipton will check in for the Mariners. Jackson for the Titans. Wilson has a nice release on her shot. Yeah. Nice. Missed. Rebound. No. Oh. Another possession. One point ball game, 25-24. 20.9 ticks left in the half. Randolph to inbound. See where she goes after she inbounds. He's gonna go set up for three, well, I guess. Nope, nice. rebound Cal, you 14 seconds. Mirrors have a little time to get a sh final shot off. Plenty of time, plenty of time, get a good one. To Tipton, five seconds. Driving, got it! Yes. Abraham just about at the buzzer. Marriage will lead at the half, 26-25. Don't touch the dial. Craig Zimmerman, Jerry Schneider, Greg Over are coming back for the second half. North Star Bank, guiding the way. North Star Bank is a true community bank whose loan approvals are made locally. They help keep our communities vibrant and growing by making loans to local families and businesses and reinvesting back into our community. From opening accounts to recommending products and services, they look forward to reach your financial goal. North Star Bank, guiding the way. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. All loans are subject to credit approval. Murphy Inn, Restaurant, Spirits, Hotel, all in St. Clair. Before or after the game, stop at Murphy Inn. Different specials every day. Happy hour, two to six daily, and seven vintage hotel rooms. Half off large pizza every Monday, karaoke on Wednesday and Saturday, live music on Thursday and Friday. Murphy Inn has private dining area for showers and family parties. Murphy Inn, Restaurant, Spirits, Hotel, in St. Clair since 1836. There we go, Mariners with a one point lead. See what they can uh, muster up here for the uh, second half and eliminate their mistakes. I'm sure the halftime talk in the Lady Mariners dressing room was turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. And another one. All right, we got the ball back. Oh, okay. Luckily. I, I guarantee you Tipped. that was hammered oh. home. Five on the floor for the Mariners right now. Potvin, Tranquita. 
along with Abraham Austin and Austin. <laughs> and for Woods Towers to start the second half the same way they started the game. Randolph, Blaylock, Westrick, Watson, and Wilson. Inbounding underneath Carissa Austin. Three point shot wide open. Oh, off the side. Rebound this time, Wilson. Fast breaking it. Nope. Rebound, Mariners. That time, Kirsten Austin came up with it. To the corner, Abraham. Oh, nice. Get in there. Yeah, nice take. She's got eight. Green City is definitely more effective when she's scoring. Randolph out front, looking to the corner. Bounce pass, Mariners get the turnover. Well, she should have shot that ball. Wide open on three point line. Looking inside. Get in there. Foul on the floor. Inbounding, Potvin from the south side. Down pass in the paint. Long one, it's a little short. Rebound, Randolph. Nice jump shot, can't get it to fall. Mariners come over the rebound, Potvin. She should have took that right to the board. Wide open. Driving, nice, 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 nice take. Potvin, she's got four. 30-25, Mariners' biggest lead of the night at five. That's the way you beat an over-aggressive defense, a head fake and drive. No good, rebound Mariners. I don't have the numbers, but our defensive rebounds have to be three, four times what they are. Easily. Looking in, cross court, ooh. Potvin gonna drive, bounce pass. I don't think Abraham was ready for that pass. That was a nice one. Yeah. Potvin inbounding from underneath. <laughs> to the corner. Oh, crowded in there. Yes. Oh, front wide open. Three. Short. Short. Rebound Mariners. Mm, yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, good hustle. Good no call. Abraham. Turnover. I call that out of control. <laughs> They're gonna give. They're gonna give you that foul normally, which we talked about it last night. It's really a bailout call. Randolph at the line shooting two. She is three of five at the line with nine points tonight. Ten. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Yeah. Her and Wilson are the shooters. <laughs> Made it look easy. 11 points for Brianna Randolph. 30-27, Mariners on top. We're gonna have 30 turnovers by the end of the game. 19 already. And you know, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think most of them are forced turnovers. No. Oh, 
Harger leads it up, point guard position. Drives, kicks it out. Top of the key to Randolph. Randolph gonna take it, no. Nice, nice feed. Mares do come up with a rebound. This time it's Kirsten Austin. They're not getting a lot of second looks. No. That Marine City's done that very well tonight. Rebound is very well. Short. Keep putting it up. Play Long it. one. No, off the side. She's a shooter. She got a Three and 43 left, third quarter. 30 27, Mariners on top. But a low scoring half of a third here. Cross court to Randolph. Well, Woods Tower this quarter has not put up the ball like they were in the first half. They were open look, shoot, open look, shoot. Timeout Tower. 3.34 left. We'll be right back. Intended that time and finally gotten by Wilson. Travel. Got a walk. Believe it or not, that's only the ninth turnover, so plus minus would be minus 10 to, to Mariners in turnovers. Well, that's, well, that's why Woods Power's in the game, really. Yep. Inbound. Or Three oh three left. Brianna Randolph at the line for two. She's got twelve points, leads all. I don't think all her three throws have been uh, nothing but net too. Six out of eight. Missed the first two and she got six in a row. Seven in a row. 13 points. One point ball game, 30-29. Marine City on top. Checking in Stephanie Abraham, the freshman. So we got Abraham, Tranquita, Tipton, Potvin, and Austin. into a zone to take away that low post from the main city. Looking in. They're wide open, they should shoot it. Jump ball will be a turnover. Thirty twenty nine. Wilson, she's got a good looking jump yeah, shot. Yeah. Put back by number 14, Harger. She's got four and they lead 31 30. Three point attempt. Boom. 16 out of Brianna Randolph. And they lead 33-30. Time over Marine C. Minute 47 left in the third.
Here we go, coming off a timeout. Minute 46 left in the third. Titans by three, 33-30. They've done a nice job of uh, taking away that inside. Oh, in and out. Rebound, they'll go Mariner way this time. You know, but the Lady Mariners have some girls that, that can shoot that three-pointer, so they might as well take it. Tipped and inbounds to the corner. Just like that. Oh, oh off the side. Randolph gets the rebound. Two more for Wilson, she's got 10. 35-30. Look at the energy level change for Warren Woods Tower. Definitely on tight inside. You know, that goes for any game. I mean, you start scoring and things start going right, and it just, you notice a difference. Yep. Pot bend inbound. Minute five left in the third. That inbounds play was set up for a three for Podman. <laughs> Looking into the post. There we go. Nice long open two off the side. Got the rebound. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Got to get out. Going to call three seconds. Yep. And he did. He should have been better off just trying to throw something up there. I think that's exactly what Coach just said to him. 36 seconds remaining in the third. for a last shot to end the third. Done a nice job taking the time up. Sure she pulled it but way short. Three tenths, Marine City will get it back but won't do anything with three tenths. Let's make sure we didn't get it in. 35-30 at the end of three, Warren Woods Tower on top. Leading all scores on the mirror side, Stephanie Abraham with eight. Six from Tranquita, seven for Kirsten Austin, four for Potvin, three for Kelly, and two for Carissa Austin, 15 for Randolph. We'll be right back for the fourth quarter. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza is now open seven days a week for your shopping needs. Everything you need from auto supplies, wiring, paint, craftsman tools. St. Clair's Ace Hardware has picnic items, a complete gift department with candles and more. Don't miss the specials on Valspar paint. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza. Here we are, eight minutes left to determine the outcome here. 35-30, Warren Woods Tower up. Craig Zimmerman, Jerry Schneider, Greg Gover, you're on camera, Wednesday night. Turnover, Titans. Green City, just what they did here, need to get some turnovers, play aggressive defense. Good defense turns into good offense. Ah, kick, Green City ball out of bounds. Austin inbound. Watch out, up on. Still 35-30. Where's the help? No help. Six for Harger. Tipping out top. Three point shot. Nope. Hey, Mary City has a score 
a good five minutes. Harger leads it up to the post. Give and go. Seven point lead at 37-30. If I'm Tower, I think I do what Clintondale did last night. Slow it way down. Take only shots like that. Eight for Harger, 3-6-36 left. Biggest lead of the night at 39-30. Tower on top. Quick reminder, the Pink Halo Project will be going on a week from Saturday. What's the date on that? Will that be February 1st? Whatever that weekend is. At St. Clair. The 31st. 31st? Okay. All day long, basketball going on. Great fundraiser. There it is. Oh. There it is. There we go. There we go. Nice job. Trent Key's got eight. Pick up the defensive pressure here. Seven point lead, 39-32. Randolph out front. Yeah, I think they're in no hurry to do much of anything. Seven point lead, a lot of time, five and a quarter left. Green City's gotta have to force it. Come out and play some real pressure defense here. There we go. Got the rebound. Pop and top. That's going down. Yes! <laughs> Carissa Austin, first three of the night. Cuts the lead to four. 39-35, just under five minutes remaining time out. 4.58 left. Michelle Wester to inbound for the Titans. Mayor's going to play a little pressure. They're going to back up now. Wilson can't give him the easy one. Oh. Oh, they got lucky. Ten footer. Rebound, that's, a, that's about the first rebound all night that they've gotten <laughs> at their end of the boat. <laughs> Seriously, like all night long, there's been four or five Mariners. Two Mariners went to block out one girl. Three point shot. Oh, almost. Nice put back. Wow, strong, strong by Paige Tranquita. She's got 10. Two point ball game. Different ball game in one minute here. I think it's going to go down to the wire. They were down by nine here about a minute ago. Now they're down by two. Three point shot. Nope. Rebound Mariners. Here we go. 4 12 remaining. Potvin moving it up court. That's exactly what we're seeing here. I'd still try to get it in. Me too. There we go, Mariner ball out of bounds. They have no answer for a Tranquita down in the paint. You know, we had success with uh, Tranquita and Calu in the first half. I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't went to that here in the fourth. Popping inbound to the corner. Oh, lost the handle. I don't want to call that, they have to. Good hustle. Neither team in danger of shooting free throws here yet. It's only a third team foul for the Mariners. Titans only have four. 
Randolph to inbound. She leads all with 15 points. Hasn't scored in a couple minutes. Give some of that credit to Pat Van. She played, uh, she played good defense on her. Far side. 3.42 left in the game. Two point ball game. 39 37 Titans. Long two. Nope. Push. Mayor ball out of bounds. 3.33 left. All kinds of time. Three point shot, top of the key. Boom! <laughs> All right. She's a shooter. She's got to keep shooting. Two big threes from Carissa here in the fourth. Mirrors on top, 40 39. Four fouls apiece, each team. Then about a 10 0 run here, I think. Uh, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. I think it was 39 30, and now it's 40 39. Mirrors on top. Good job on the defense for the Mirrors on the inbound. Still anybody's ball game, under three minutes to play. Oh, yeah. Nice job by the Mariners. Tranquita gets it. That'd be a foul, absolutely. Laylock had nowhere to go with that ball. That's very good defense. Now if you're Mariners, a nice one point lead. Be patient, patient, patient. <laughs> but don't get out of your flow. Yep. Uh. Popping. Down. Not yet. Oh. You mm. had cursing on the opposite yep. block. Yep. Nothing. Good no call. Good no call. She was out of control. Still one point lead at 40 39. It's going down to the last. 220 second. left. I'd like to see a mirror bucket here to give you a little bit of comfort. A nice little press of three would be perfect. Take two by anybody. There we go, top of the key. Nice shot. Got to take that one. Absolutely, good rebound. Okay, one on one, two on one. Oh. And one. Ashley Harger's got 10, looking for 11. A one point lead at 41 40 for the Titans. Short, 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 yep. Rebound Mariners. Tipton. Somebody go get it. Oh, there we go. Wide open underneath. <sighs> Minute 25 left. You think they're going to try to stall it? With a one point lead. Time out. Well, Titans. A minute 18 left. One point lead for the Titans. A little bit of balance, but I mean. Let her drive. I still. A minute 18 left. You want to lose by a point. There we go. Minute 18 left. Randolph to inbound. Gets it into Wilson. 
I think you're going to see a Wilson or Randolph hands. Oh, nice play. Beautiful Missed. Play. Oh. And it's come up with a rebound. Great Minute eight. Do you call a timeout here? No way. No? Run it, run it. <laughs> oh, boy. Thought about a three. Don't be afraid to take the shot. We got fit. Just a quick shot in the corner. Timeout, 53.6 seconds with a one point deficit. Dowers go the full end of the court. Randolph to inbound, 53 seconds remaining. I think Wilson or Randolph will be. Wow. Marine City's got one to give. And it's a turnover. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, could be turned over two or three times more before the 43 seconds are left. I think. Here we go. Sure, sure. Yep, yep. Oh, no, oh. no. Get the rebound. 22 seconds. Timeout. Good call, timeout for Tower. 19 seconds with a one point lead. Both teams have had the ball, what, three times? Chances. You called it. And we might see three more times here in the last 19.6. Nineteen point six seconds left. Six fouls on Woods Tower, five on the Mariners. So Mariners can follow without putting them at the free throw line for that'll once. Be the, that'll be the uh, that'll be the mantra coming out. If you don't get a steal, foul right away. Yeah, get, you would like to follow them with like 10, 12 seconds left and yep. get the ball back. Yep. You don't want to have to follow with like five or four seconds, then it's just a rushed play. You really don't get a good shot. Right. It's been an exciting game. Yep, at the end of one, Warren Woods Tower led 16-13. At the half, Mariners came and built a one-point lead, 26-25. At the end of three, Tower came storming back 35-30 and had as big as a nine-point lead with about four minutes left. Mariners came storming back with a 10-0 run, the lead by a point, and it's been back and forth since. Randolph to inbound. I'd look for Wilson to get it. Good tonight defense, and if you don't steal, foul right away. There's it. Wilson's got it. 18. Yep, yep. Good foul. 15 seconds. No shots. Next one will be one and one. And realistically, it wouldn't even be a bad thing to foul him if you don't steal it with with 15 seconds left. I think if you're Marine City. Time out Marine City. You want Wilson getting that ball. She, she didn't make her free throws in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. Right, she was 0 for 2. And Randolph has been pretty hot with those. I, with 15.5 seconds left, if you can't steal it, I think you follow him again and put him at the right line. Away, right away. Because right because if they make two, you're still down three. And, and you're still going to have you got 12, 13 seconds left yep. to set up. I think we have one more timeout left. You can set up a play and, and at least get three to tie if we need to buy something to tie the game up. You know, they say on the road you go for the win, at home you go for the ties. <laughs> see what happens. Marine City, you definitely want to see Randolph inbounding the ball. And they are getting their whiff. Same setup, Randolph inbounding, probably get it into Wilson. I say if they get it into her, Foul right away. Yep, there we go. One and one at the line. 13 point eight left on the clock. Perfect. Yep. She's got 10 points. She is a good shooter. Four, 
She's only her second appearance at the line. One point lead, 41-40. Mariners have to get the rebound on a miss here. That's off. Yep, got it. Tranquita, gotta go down. Just need one, just need a bucket. Just need a two-pointer, five seconds, four Gotta seconds. Get a shot up. Gotta get a shot up. Gotta get a shot. Oh. It's Tower wins by one. That was an exciting game, that's for sure. Exciting game, heartbreaking loss. But it was exciting. For Greg Govier, partner Greg, Jerry Schneider, I'm Craig Zimmerman. We'll be back next week. Monday, good night, Marine City. This CTV sports presentation has been brought to you by St. Clair Chevy, Buick, GMC, We Care. By Murphy Inn Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By Ackett Soups in Adair and Marine City, North Star Bank, guiding the way. By St. Clair Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, We Care. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair's Ace Hardware. And by CTV Community TV in Marine City and St. Clair.